everybody, how are you? Good to see you today. Um, it is a gorgeous day where I am in Atlanta, and so I'm, I'm bringing you out here with me. I hope that's okay. I hope the sun doesn't like glare or whatever. You can still see me, right? Um, hi, if you haven't, if we haven't met before, I mean on videos, I, <laughs> I haven't met any of you in person, but I would love to. Um, if we haven't met before through videos, I am Xyla, like xylophone, but with a Z. Um, and I love to talk about everything Orange Theory because I am obsessed. And I talk about nutrition a lot because I am obsessed. Uh, and, um, and I'm coming to you today. I, it feels like it's been quite a while since, we've, um, since I've seen you all. But I'm coming to you today because I have gotten a lot of um, messages. I mean, I get messages from, um, from all of you. I love your messages, by the way. So please continue to um, reach out to me. Um, some of you find me on Facebook. Zyla Masika. Some of you find me on Instagram, Zyla Masika. Some of you find me in email, Zyla.Masika at gmail.com. Um, but I've gotten um, quite a few messages. Well, I, like I said, I get a lot, but I'm, I just pulled up like the last five or six that I've received from all of you out there. And, um, and if I read your message, um, it's in well, first of all, we've already chatted back and forth, right? And I've answered your questions and all good. But I want you, I'm, I'm sharing your message because um, I, I want you and I want the, everyone out there to know they're not alone. Like this is a message, your message, I have chose it because I've received five others very similarly to it. Um, so if you hear a message, you can be like, hey, that was my message. Or you can be like, oh, that was my message. Um, either way. But it's all in love and, and it's to help to help all of us, right? We're all we're all learning here, and I know that most of you who are doing Orange Theory, or if you're considering Orange Theory, you're probably on some sort of a health quest or health journey, right? And you're trying to get to your best health, and you're looking to uh, to us to help you and guide you, and I'm happy to do that because um, I have been on both sides of it. Um, if if you've seen my picture, then, or if you knew me in the past, if you actually knew me. Um, okay, so here are the messages. I'm going to read, read these through, and then um, I'll go through them. Hey, Zyla. I've been following you for a few months. You are inspirational. Thank you. Um, I've been going to Orange Theory for five months now, but I'm not seeing results. How often do you work out? How heavy are the weights you use for floor work? Do you think I'd get better results working out in the morning or evenings? Thanks for any tips. Um, I'm just going to keep reading them, and then I'll go back through, okay? Hi, I just found your page. All I can say is, wow, I've been going to Orange Theory for two years now, and I'm so frustrated. I think I'm going to drop my membership. Don't drop it. Don't. <laughs> that was the first thing I said to them. I was like, no. Can you give me any advice? Yes, don't drop your membership. I don't have any muscle definition like you have, and I feel like I work very hard when I go to class. I go um, four times per week and sometimes five times. Next one. Zyla, I wanted to let you know I decided to join Orange Theory. I've seen a few of your videos and you inspired me to go for it. How long did it take for you to see results from your workouts? Hey Zyla, I have loved watching your Orange Theory transformation this past year. What other workouts do you do? I've been going to Orange Theory for about one year too and I don't see much of a change. I lost 12 pounds in the first two to three months. Congratulations! Um, but nothing since then. Uh, I'm getting so frustrated. I have about 30 pounds to lose. What did you do that helped? This is one of my favorites. Hey, Zyla. I've been following you with your transformation. Congratulations. Very inspiring. I see you talk about nutrition a lot, so I assume that's a part of it. What advice do you have for a wine and bread lover like myself? I don't think I can give those up. LOL. <laughs> I hear ya. Um, okay, so uh, to answer all of these, I mean, what it came down to with all of them is, and you've heard, if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me say it, or if you follow me, I mean, it is, here it is, I sound like a broken record, but I'm telling you the truth, listen to it, 80% nutrition and 20% exercise that creates a fit and healthy body. It's 80% nutrition, 20% exercise, and, and that's the truth of the truth of the truth. It just, it's not going to change. You can work out for seven hours a day, and if your nutrition is just crap, you're not going to get results. You may get something, but you're, you're not going to, you know, you may lose the 12 pounds in the first, you know, few months, but then you're not, then you're going to just be stuck. It's, it comes down to nutrition and, um, and it needs to be very, you know, clean and, and careful. You know, when you see those fitness 
uh, models or those bodybuilders, all those people in those fitness magazines, they aren't working out 10, 10 hours a day. What they're doing is they're working out, and they can be doing something as, as fair as, as what we do at Orange Theory, which is the best, most efficient total body workout. If you have any question, if you're here just kind of wondering if Orange Theory, yes, go. It's just the most efficient, easy workout, no-brainer. You just show up, and they tell you what to do. Anyway, but if, if you're working out like that, um, what was I saying? Oh, those fitness professionals. It, their workouts matter, but... What what they what they do so perfectly is is what they put into their body is what they eat, um, how they plan for their food, how they eat. I mean, some of them. I mean, they eat down to the hour. You know, every three hours, eating a certain something, um, either that they've prepped or that's been planned for them, or it's all calculated and planned out. And they have to eat that perfectly. And then before they do a photo shoot, wow, what they have to go into for that. Okay, so you cannot compare yourself to that. And if you see some kind of person at the gym, you know, whatever they, what do they call those, like gym rats, or somebody who's like really buff at the gym, I'm telling you, stop and ask them what they eat. They can, they will tell you they cannot eat crap and get that kind of body. It's just, they just can't. They may be, they may be taking stuff, I don't know, but, um, but I'll tell you, <laughs> for, um, for the general person, I'm going to call myself the general person, because it's not my dream or my I'm it's not my goal to be in a fitness magazine or a bodybuilder because like my wine and bread lover friend I am the same and I'm still going to enjoy those things and um and and that's part of it right that's life and my and and my goal is and if you've been following me I hope your goal is just to simply live a healthy and very comfortable life you know to be to wear simple things in life like getting dressed or buying clothes isn't a painful, miserable experience, you know? It's just that you get to enjoy and feel comfortable in your body, feel comfortable in your skin, feel comfortable running around with your kids or your friends or, you know, doing adventuresome things outside. So, so what, um, so what is it? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it comes down to nutrition. I do, and people ask me very specifically what I do, um, what I do. I, some of you out there do even better than I do. If you are one of those meal prepping people, wow. I mean, kudos to you and total respect. Um, I'm not that person. I'm not, I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. Um, I hate chopping vegetables. <laughs> I need to, if someone out there has some sort of secret that can help me love the kitchen and cooking, I mean, I, I'm all for it, so reach out to me. But but I don't care for that. But so what I do is find really simple um, meals and snacks, and uh, that you know that I can have throughout my day. And then I, I so I eat about six times per day. I mean, it depends on if I did orange theory or not in the day. Um, so four to six times, I guess, is probably pretty fair to say. And every time that I'm eating, it is a balance of protein, fats, and carbs. I have 20 to 30 grams of car of uh, grams of protein per meal or snack per day, um, and, and I'm petite, so I'm, I'm five, I like to say I'm five one, but I'm a little under, um, but yeah, so I'm a little under five one, I try to maintain a five three, five four status with my heels, but yes, so I'm, I'm short, and obviously if you've seen me, I'm, I'm trim now with, I'm, I'm fit, <laughs> um, and I'm, that's what I'm eating. So if you're, if you're a bigger build, if you're a man, if you have a lot of muscle, um, if you're taller, you might need more protein. Um, and I, there's tons of stuff online that will tell you, you know, it kind of help you calculate your protein. But the guide I go by is 20 to 30 grams of protein for someone like me. I would say men, 30 to 40 grams of protein. Um, and I, I do what's called protein pacing. And if you don't know about that, you can reach out to me. I'm happy to share. But basically, I'm having um, protein and carbs and fats. Um, at, uh, you know, in the morning and then in mid morning and then lunch and then mid afternoon and dinner. And then again in the evening before I, I go to bed. So six times per day, especially on an orange theory day. And, um, and then I'm just balancing that out with, um, carbs and fats, not donut and cookie carbs. I know, I know. Don't you just want to have like a bowl of cereal and call that a good carb? <sighs> um, like vegetables, fruit, nuts, um, healthy grains like quinoa. Um, uh, does that sound like so gross to you? <laughs> You're like, that doesn't sound like fun. I want bread and wine. I know. So have it. 
just not every single day, not every day at five o'clock like I used to do. When you see that before picture of me, um, I guess I'll take the time to edit it and pop in my picture. I was just going to throw this video on, but anyway, in that picture I was having a glass or two or three or four probably of wine every night, every night and eating who knows what, like, like a box of cookies, a box of cupcakes every night before bed. So that's what that looks like. And if you'd like to look a little more fit and trim, you're going to have to just make adjustments. And what I always say is, um, you know, being overweight, sluggish, groggy, foggy headed, tired, exhausted all the time is so hard and miserable. And yes, it's a little bit hard to, you know, take care of yourself and get to a gym and work out and eat healthfully, but, uh, choose your hard. Like, I don't mind now, and, and by the way, when you get to a certain level, soon um, the healthy things will taste good and feel good, and now it's to the point where like a loaf of bread doesn't really do it for me anymore. I'm like, yeah, I see it. Or I'll have a bite of cake, but I don't feel the urge for the entire cake like I used to before. Um, I'm looking through these um, questions to see if I'm answering all the questions, but um, what else? Oh, I use nutritional supplementation because, as you said, as I heard, as I shared with you, I'm not a meal prepper. If you're someone who is a good meal prepper and you can get like a good solid balanced, um, you know, four to six meals a day with your 20 to 30 grams of carbs or up to 40 grams, if you're good at that, like kudos, first of all, all respect and kudos and, and that's great. So do it and keep up with that. I use nutritional supplementation because one, I'm not great at that. Two, um, I like a little bit of sweetness and um, my nutritional supplementation is in shake form and they're really delicious, you know, like birthday cake and cookies and cream and um, chocolate peanut butter, things like that. And that brings me a lot of joy, a lot. So um, two of my meal snacks are that per day. So two, two of my six are at least that and then I just have to come up with four other healthy-ish snacks and dinners, you know, which is not too hard, you know, chicken or salmon and vegetables for dinner, um, some kind of turkey or chicken, tuna, eggs for a meal or snack in the earlier in the day, a veggie omelet does the trick, um, Greek yogurt, not like the chemical one, right? You got to look through and make sure you're eating like a, you know, it has, should be like a full fat or 2%, you know, you don't, if you start getting fat free, you're loading in chemicals and sugar. But, you know, Greek yogurt with, you know, maybe some oats and seeds, very few, like a small handful of blueberries, you know, again, finding that balance. Um, but when your nutrition is dialed in, this is what happens. Um, you do get muscle definition. Your body tones that, is it toned down? slims down, trims down, tones up, <laughs> tone up, slim down. Um, people ask, though, what, you know, what am I doing at Orange Theory? Do I work out outside of Orange Theory to get this muscle? Mm -mm. It, it, this is my nutrition because I've worked out in the past twice a day. I've done like crazy workouts and you don't get the muscle definition without the nutrition. Um, you won't, that's why, that's why I have somebody here who says I've been going to Orange Theory for two years and I don't have any muscle definition. It's your nutrition, okay? I know, I know. It's like that's the, it's like easy to go to Orange Theory. We love it. If you're one of my Orange Theory people, you're like, I love it. My people are so nice. We're high five in. I've got my crew. That's so fun to do. Oh, I don't want to think about my plate. I know. And so if you want, um, if you want to do what I'm doing, reach out to me. I can hook you up. Um, we can do, I can show you. Then at least you only have to worry about like four meals and snacks a day. All right, so. Um, how often do I work out? I work out five to six times per week, but really, for honest, four days at Orange Theory, I mean, I, I go in, it's like, what's the phrase, like, balls to the wall or something? I go in all out, like, for real, all out. Like, I work hard, no excuses, nothing's left, like my coach always says, don't leave anything on the treadmill. I mean, I leave, I, it's just done, like, it's all, I work out hard. And then, um, one to two of the days I call my rest days and people who work out with me know and they see it. It's like, I'm just there for like the waking up my body and just kind of going through the, um, the motion of it, you know, but I'm maybe, maybe I get zero splats or five or less splats on those days. I'm my, I don't lift heavy weights. I might do a walking block on the treadmill or just do a really light jog again, just to kind of get my body moving, but I'm not working out. I'm really giving my body a rest.
And then I actually am not there. I actually take one day to one or two days a week to sleep in. Um, so how often do I work out? How heavy are the weights I use for floor work? Listen, there are people at Orange Theory who, women, men, obviously, who are faster runners, stronger rowers, faster rowers, lift heavier weights, can do more burpees per minute, more sit-ups and push-ups per minute, right? I'm not the I'm not the strongest person in my in my studio. I work out really hard. I am strong, but you know, a year ago I wasn't and I built that up and I mean, I really give all the credit to my nutrition. Um, my supplementation, I believe, has helped me out incredibly because that was filling in the gaps where I was kind of failing myself. Um, so I'm getting a lot of pure protein in every day. Um, and then just I listen to whatever they say at the workout. If they say, can you go 0 0.1, 0 0.2 faster? Can you try to lift a heavier weight just for two of these reps? I do every time. I try it. Sometimes I can't. A lot of times I can't. I'm like, I thought I could. Yes, I can't. Okay, well, we'll just put those weights down and take a lighter weight. You know, but I always try and I always push myself. Um, do I think they'd get better results working out in the mornings or evenings? I've seen research that says something about mornings or whatever. Here's what I say. Do what's going to work for you so it's sustainable for life. You know, so if 4 o'clock in the afternoon is like your go-to time, that's like the time for you, then, then that's when you do it. Like, don't make yourself wake up at 4 in the morning for, you know, a 4.50 class. There's a studio out there that has a 4.50 class. I was like, 4.50? It's the middle of the night. But I, but I take a 5 a.m. class. That feels better. Um, but you do what works for you. So if 8 p.m. is your jam, like, go for it. Because if that's what's going to get you doing it, all right? Um, here's this person who want, was about to drop your membership. Don't drop your membership. Exercise is so important, and it's so good for all the endorphins and serotonin and all that other stuff, in addition to helping, um, helping you with your um, weight loss and, and health, just your health. Tons of research on exercise. So don't drop your membership. If what you're doing is going to um, Orange Theory and you're trying to lose weight, again, just dial up your nutrition. Reach out to me if I can help you with that, okay? Um, how long did it take for me to see results from my workouts? So before I started working out, if you've seen my before and after picture, I did 60 days of getting my nutrition very, very like clean and perfect, or perf as perfect as I could get, right? I was still having cocktails and desserts and stuff. But I really worked on my nutrition. So 60 days, my nutrition was like, solid. I felt very confident with my nutrition before I went into my workouts. And I was looking at some pictures in the past. I mean, really, two months. Two months I started seeing, like, you know, little bits of definition. Not not to this level, but, like, where I was like, okay, something's happened. Like, I've never seen this before. I mean, just two months. But again, I w and I went in and did exactly what they said every time. And if they asked me to push harder, I did. Um, but again, it's your nutrition, right? So if you're not seeing results, don't look at the workout, look at what you're eating. And if your eating is really, really perfect, listen, I hear people tell me that they, um, that they eat, you know, a good salad. And um, if I were to, first of all, if you know me, I don't, I don't eat salads. I don't like them. But if I ate a salad that was like the kind of salad I like, you know, that would be 800 calories and it would be so not nutrient, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't fill my body with what it should. It's not, it's, it's, I would be eating the wrong thing. So just take a look. Like salad isn't isn't equal. Um, so just take a look at that. Did I already say this? If I did, I'll cut that out. <laughs> or maybe I won't and I'll just keep it. Um, what other workouts do I do? None. Nothing else. I don't do anything else at home. I don't do anything else in the gym. I don't lift anything else. Um, you know, a lot of people assume that to get this kind of definition or something, I would have to be doing extra. Again, I do exactly what they say in those workouts, and it's my nutrition. I would not have the body I have if I didn't have the nutrition I have. Um, and this person lost 12 pounds in the first two to three months of orange tree. I, that's so typical when you start any sort of change in your um, fitness or nutrition. You should see that change. So congratulations on losing those 12 pounds in the first two to three months. And then you plateaued. And the reason that you plateaued is because you just need to take a look at your nutrition. Okay? And I know that feeling of getting frustrated. I've been there. Like for 20 years, you guys, I've done this. And now I finally like, oh, it's so easy. Um, it is easy. What I do is very, very, very easy. I don't feel like I'm missing out. I sell pizza, sell beer and wine when I want. Um, it's just such a freeing way to live. And, um, oh, and my last person who said, <laughs> what advice do I have for a wine and bread lover? 
Listen, when you when your nutrition is all dialed in, you don't crave the things that like cause you know like your wine and bread. I I don't crave it the same way. Before I craved it. I needed it. I needed the wine to take a little edge off at night. I needed, um, you know, the wine to just like whew, to de-stress. You know, there are natural healthy products that you can use to de-stress so you don't feel that urge anymore. Um, when your body is in balance, when it's functioning the way it's supposed to because it's getting the nutrition it's supposed to get, you don't crave the junk in the same way. Like, I'll see a piece of cake. I don't feel that urge to eat the whole cake. I just enjoy a, a bite of it, and, and then that's enough for me. Um, so... That's it. I've just said it over and over and over. If you were willing to listen to just the first minute and you turned it off, then you're good. But if you stayed with me all the way through, like I promise you, it's all your nutrition and then it is some of your exercise. I say do Orange Theory because it's the most efficient total body workout that you can get in 50 minutes. Um, if you're someone who doesn't really know what to do at the gym like I was, if you're somebody who um, can do a video but then you kind of lose a little bit of motivation or you have a hard time kind of sticking with it, Orange Theory is so great because you get your accountability, you get your coaches, you start to see the same people there every day and you see, they know, people notice when you're gone, they're like, well, where's Sally? Where's Kevin? For all you Orange Theory people, where, Kevin's not here today. What's going on? Oh, he's taking a day off. People notice and uh, anyway, it's, you know, and, and, and you just kind of get your community there and so it keeps you going. You know, there are days I do not want to get up for my 5 a.m. workout and I do because I don't want to miss seeing a few of my friends. Like there's, you know, a girl who only comes on Thursdays and so I make sure not to miss her. So I get up and go on Thursdays just to say hi to her. Um, or is that sad of me? I don't know. But the point is, if you... If you don't know what to do, just just go to Orange Theory. If you're like wondering what you should do, and I promise you you'll get results if and you also have good nutrition. And if you just have good nutrition but you don't do any workout or any fitness, you're just going to be kind of a trim person but no – it's just you need to work out too. You need them both. It's 80-20. You can't just be 80% – you're missing the other 20. Got it? Okay. Um, lots of love to you. And I hope you, uh, it, I hope this helped. And um, if you have questions about protein pacing, reach out to me. If you have questions about nutritional supplementation, reach out to me. If you have questions about um, meals that you quick and easy on the go, reach out to me. If you are an amazing meal prepper chef and you can make me fall in love with chopping vegetables and cleaning up the kitchen after I've chopped all those vegetables and made a terrible mess, reach out to me. If you, if you can change me, oh, I don't know. Well, we can barter something. I don't know what. I'll, I'll, I'll give you lots of love. Come, to, come find me, Zyla Masika on Facebook, Instagram, or uh, email me, Zyla.Masika. And, um, and I'll do whatever I can to make it as easy as I can on you because that's, that's what it, this is life, right? Make it easy, make it enjoyable. Oh, All right. Um, and tell me what studio you're in because um, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to um, Nashville very soon and I'm going to be doing some more, uh, and I'm going to Florida. So I'm um, excited to be reaching out to see a few of you. Um, this will all be happening in August. Whee! I'm so excited. Can't wait to meet you all. Bye!